So as you know that the cleaning validation is one of the CGMP requirement. And in case if you have a multi-product manufacturing site, then you must conduct the cleaning validation to demonstrate that your processes are capable to limit or control the carryover of previous product into the next product. So just assume that you have a multi-product facility and uh, let us say you have a six different products uh, to be manufactured in the same facility. So ideally you must conduct cleaning validation for all these six products and which can be a time consuming and costly affair. So to save time, money and uh, resources, the bracketing approach such as the most difficult to clean at the lowest limit can be used. The objective of the most effective to clean at the lowest limit approach is to demonstrate that it has a scientific rationale for defining the worst case rating of the substances under investigation. Defining the worst case rating is going to be a very important factor when I talk about difficult to clean and the lowest limit substance. The first thing to do is to divide product into groups based on two factors such as root of administration, cleaning processes used, equipment used, etc. Once we have the groups formed, then determine the difficult to clean products based on certain factors such as efforts required to clean the product, solubility of the uh, drug substance inside your product, whether the product is having a gummy appearance or gummy nature, and it gets stuck on the surface. What is the appearance of the drug substance or the product, etc. Now, once the groups are formed and rating is being uh, given, look for the worst case that is most difficult to clean product and product with the lowest limit. So as a part of this video, we will try to understand how this approach can be used. Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and I am on the mission to help people get absolute clarity on various technical aspect and the one that we are discussing right now. So if you are struggling with technical aspect or career growth and would like to unleash your true potential, join the Pharma Growth Hub today. To know more about the services of the Pharma Growth Hub, join our WhatsApp group with the help of link given in the description. So let us begin the talk. And uh, here are all the details. So in the column number one, in the first column, you will find there are six product. In the second column, you will find the permitted daily exposure in terms of microgram per day. PDE stands for permitted daily exposure. That means in case of a product A, right, the 10 microgram per day of the product A can be consumed in the another product. And this gets calculated based on to the toxicity study. Similarly, based on to the factor that I just briefed at the beginning of this discussion, the cleaning difficulty will be assessed. So, in case if you are confused with these numbers, what is meant by 6, 1, 2, 4, 5 and 3, 1 is most difficult to clean drug product. That means the drug substance present inside the drug product is very difficult to clean. And the 6 being the easiest to clean, so which is very easy to clean, maybe having uh, great solubility into the selected diluent. Uh, and you can look over here now, the product A is been ranked as a 6, that means that it is it must be a very easy to clean product. In the similar way, product B has ranked with the number 1, 
it means product B must be a very difficult to clean product. And there are certain moderate uh, difficulties in cleaning the product C, D, E and F. I hope you are clear on to this ranking from 1 to 6. Then the fourth column, the maximum daily dose for a respective product is mentioned. That is product A has 100 mg maximum daily dose. Product B has 400 mg as a maximum daily dose. And then you can find for the rest of the products also. In the last column, you will find the swab limit. Let us say in terms of the PPM. So the swab limits are defined based on to the assumption that every other product can be the next manufacturing product. So you will understand based on to uh, their permitted daily exposure, based on to their batch size, based on to the maximum daily dose, safety factor, etc. And I know that there is a good amount of uh, calculations and details required. So in this video, I am not going to talk about how the swab limit gets assessed and evaluated. In case if you want to understand that, please look for the another video that I have published uh, in the earlier time. So for this time, let us assume that these are our swab limit. So according to you now, which product has the lowest swab limit, right? And you will find that, okay, now look at here, the product E has a 0 0.20 ppm as the swab limit and which is the lowest amongst all. And which product is difficult to clean out of this group? You need to look for the number one, right? Because number one is the most difficult to clean product. And you will find, okay, now look at your product B has cleaning ranking as a one. So the product B is difficult to clean. Now when you look at the swab limit for product B, it is 12 ppm. So which product needs to be taken for cleaning validation? Is it product B or are you going to take product E? Right now, here is the bracketing approach the most difficult to clean at the lowest limit. Now, what is the most difficult to clean product? It is the product B. So you need to take a product B. But what should be the limit now? Is it a 12 ppm limit? No, it must be with the lowest limit. So the lowest limit across the group, the substance or a product which is having the lowest limit. So which product has the lowest limit? You will see product E is having the lowest, lowest limit which is 0.2 ppm. Essentially, you have to take product B but with the limit of 0.2 ppm during your cleaning validation. So this is called as the worst case scenario where you need not to conduct the cleaning validation for all these six products but you will only conduct the cleaning validation for product B, which is a difficult to do cleaning product with the lowest limit, which is 0 0.20 ppm. So this approach will suffice the cleaning validation for the given group of product. I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you so much.